community. But I'll deal with African Americans specifically since you asked. But think about it. Abortion became illegal, became legal in 73. So over 60 million people have been aborted on record since 73. So that's 60 million. And if, either, if any of them had had one child, that would be 120 million plus people who will never pay into Social Security. So Social Security is in trouble. Over 16 million of those babies have been African American babies. And so uh, that would be 32 million African Americans who will never pay into Social Security, who will never be born to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, to be a light in this earth to shine the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so that's why we have different things just erupting and breaking out with people, what my uncle would have called man's inhumanity to man or humans being inhuman to other humans. And so it affects us as believers, and then we become kind of numb. And so society is suffering, and we are perishing for lack of knowledge. Absolutely. Now, the second part of your question, why are there so many, so few representatives? We will tend to vote and say, oh, separation of church and state, that doesn't belong here, keep that in the church, et cetera, et cetera. So we will even vote for black candidates who will be elected who won't do a thing when they get there, except do status quo. But we also do that with all the elected officials. So we now have to begin to really vote according to the word of God. My pastor Sunday, he said, you're always talking about you on whose side, Republican, Democrat, pro-life, pro pro-choice. He said, anybody want to be on God's side? And he's been saying that the last several weeks, Pastor Teddy McNair in Atlanta. And he said, I'm not saying this to make you all mad and all that stuff, but he said, on Sunday especially, he said, I don't want the first thing that I hear to be CNN or Fox or something like that. I want it to be the word of God. I want to start my day with the Lord and get direction from heaven. And the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Not trust in CNN or Fox or any of us, any people. Because people will say, I trust you. I say, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> you need to trust God and look for God in me. Look for Jesus in me. Look for Holy Spirit in me. And the more we recognize that in each other. And sure, don't be afraid and ashamed. Don't be ashamed to go out and say you love the Lord. You know, so uh, I think we can in there. And it's been such a blessing and a pleasure. And I thank God for each and every one of you. Uh, usually, I'm going to go out. I'm going out to the book table right this second, and as we convene, as we adjourn, I'll be right out at the book table. Where is it? In the front of the back. Okay, I'm going to slip right there as we close up. You all sit until you're dismissed, please. And then, if you want to do a selfie, I'm young enough to do a selfie. <laughs> and certainly, you can come by and get a book if you'd like. Okay. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Give God a praise. Now let's celebrate Dr. King. Amen. Please remain standing, beloved. We're going to go ahead and dismiss and go upstairs and have some refreshments. Again, we thank God for the opportunity to host Dr. King here tonight at the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, where I serve as the senior pastor. We thank God, amen, for our diocletic ministry. Thank you, Chairman Brazil, all of our deacons that are here. Thank God for our ushers that are here. We thank God, amen, for Peter and Aisha. God bless you. We thank God for Pastor Peach, Pastor Stevenson. God bless you, my brothers. Dr. Walker, Dr. Walker, God bless you. Pastor Ross, Pastor Strong. Amen. Reverend Simpson, God bless you. We love you. All the preachers that are here tonight, we thank God for you. Amen. We thank God for Carol. Amen. Wave your hand, Carol. Amen. There she is. Amen. We thank God for her also. Now, beloved, we have a uh, short repast upstairs, and Dr. King will be upstairs also, and she's also going to be outside at a table selling her books. Amen. Amen. We thank God tonight for this conversation. Let us close in prayer. Father, we thank you tonight for what we have heard. We pray, Lord God, by the power of your Holy Spirit that we can enact what we need to enact in our communities to bring about your glory in this earth. 
Father, we pray for those in Las Vegas who are going through the pain and the loss of loved ones. And we pray for our country. If my people which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. For righteousness blesses a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So Father, bless us, help us, keep us. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, amen and amen. The food has already been blessed. If you can't take the steps, we have an elevator right down the hall. Amen. But God bless you, and thank you for coming to the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. We love you, beloved. Amen. God bless you.